Hello, I am Veronica Drake, and this is your weekly divine download message from the angels. Now, the way it works, I sit, I sip my coffee, and they talk to me. It could be images, it could be symbols, it could be phrases, it can be sounds, and I am the interpreter of the message. Now, you will need to do your part. Once you hear their words come out of my mouth, you need to do your part. Remember, one size does not fit all. Maybe this is for you, maybe it's not. Maybe you need to be co-creative in the process and see what you're gonna get, but don't make it fit. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Here we go. Healing is oftentimes uncomfortable. I remember back to a time when I had surgery and the incision was very uncomfortable. It was itching, it was um, flaking, the skin was healing and the surgeon did confirm, this is all part of the process of healing. It can be uncomfortable. So what you need to know is this, it's time to make sense of the hurt. When you begin to understand and integrate the hurt with your spiritual growth, you begin the ascension process. The very things that you feel bound to and changed, chained to, whether they are memories or current situations, this is all so that you can grow beyond. You are not intended to feel bound in a heavy negative way to anything. This is not the natural nature of the soul. This is man-made. It's time to look inside and see what the bondage actually is. It is within your own mind, we promise you. It's time to forgive, release, and make peace to set yourself free. We understand that you don't look forward to heartbreak, but heartbreak is a healer of souls. Yes, we said a healer of souls. When we are in the throes of heartbreak as human beings, our masks and our conditions slip away and we are left with just ourselves. In the raw, vulnerable place, we begin to find our true essence, the essence of who we are. We begin to reconnect with our soul. It's time to feel the sorrow, to feel the anger, and let the hurt burst open. The breakdown contains the breakthrough. This is a natural evolution. But the process is unfolding whether you are part of the co-creation or not. So the way that you can be a positive part of this co-creation is by being creative. Become inspired to manifest something that is coming from your very own soul. Even though you may not consider yourself creative, remember this, every single day, you are creating the life you're currently living. Step back and take inventory. Really notice, be aware what you are creating. You, in partnership with us, are the co-creators of your life. You are a spark of the intelligence that is the I am. It lives in you and pulsates through your body, whether you're aware of it or not. It's nudging you, it's inspiring you, and constantly communicating with you. Life is your canvas. What are you creating on it? We are guiding you to take this beautiful co-creative energy and tie up loose ends. You are nearing completion of a cycle, but before you can move forward, you must come to terms with what is. 
practice radical acceptance. Let what is be released and resist the urge to pick at it and make it infected. Think about a specific situation in your life that you've picked at, that you've not let go. Much like a wound, it becomes infected and begins to take over all aspects of your life. It's not about being right. It's about letting it be. You are the co-creator. It's time to take ownership and you get to choose how it heals. All the power is with you. Now, this week, a very special spirit animal came into vision. It is the heron. His message is one of continuation and connection. He reminds you that you are part of the whole. You exist because everything else in coordination is creating your existence. Make it your agenda to contain peace and harmony in everything that surrounds you, all of your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual space. Get them all in alignment. It's time to take care of the now. Let the past go. When the heron shows up and it comes into your life as it is in this moment, it will help you come to terms with this concept of taking care of your surroundings. It will help you do it in a calm, fluid style. This is about waiting patiently to reap the happy rewards. Be patient, flexible, and willing to take a chance. You will find your resourcefulness is pretty impressive, and most especially when it comes to leadership. Step up and be the leader with heart. This concludes today's transmission. Now, if you are into this and you are wanting to learn more, I have a Connect membership that I would love to invite you to. What happens there? I teach two classes a month. They're 90 minutes in length. The first class I teach, and then, and then you get to practice what I'm teaching. I give you exercises. It's very experiential. It is a diverse learning community when it comes to spiritual practices. There's angels, there's guides, there's psychic development, there's mediumship development. And the second class, I'm doing live readings. Now you're in a group setting, and that means the message is tenfold. You can ask me any question you want. Yep, once a month. And we're on a live setting. You're on a Zoom platform, very simple and easy to use. But you are also getting the opportunity not only to get my guidance with the angels and the guides, but I'm letting you practice while I'm holding your hand. Yeah, if you're wanting to do this professionally or even just to make your life more complete or more peaceful, I'm going to teach you how to do that. And the only way to learn is to practice. So check out my Connect membership. It's in the comments below. And um, yeah, I'll see you in class.